Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to Factorio. I've been doing a bit of offline stuff because obviously after iron and all that sort of stuff, we start going up the chain. And I felt like we've just done an episode about iron plate over here. And it was awesome. And it was a wonderful learning experience for all of us, me especially. And I didn't think we needed to do it again. So I did copper already. So what I did was this was a blood. So I did a little bit of a loop here. I decided I wanted this to go down a bit across here because there's a nice bit of copper here. Well, there's not really a nice bit. I mean, this is okay. Okay. I mean, this is bigger than probably these two combined. But I thought about putting it up here. I am very cognizant, whatever that word is, of the fact that I am squishing stuff in a little bit closer than I probably should be. But I think this is fine. We've got a full length here. There's a full length here. So there are full lengths in between every T intersection. And so I don't think we're going to get into deadlock territory. I'm pretty sure. It's when you don't have a full length between things, that's when you start to have problems. Um, yeah, so we're going to try not to... We're going to max, absolutely make sure that we don't do that. So anyway, as you can see, we've got a templated mainline station thing here with a single line here. Same setup as normal. Copper plate. I had to rename some stations. This was iron ore before, so I renamed that to iron plate, which is a good idea. Made this the same thing as before, 16K, which is good. So this has exactly 16,000, or just a little bit over in there, which is good. We've got a nice little smelting setup, same as before, and I've got copper being mined off this bit only. Now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't actually look that big, but this will start to pump out enough for probably four of these stations to work continuously. I'm hoping once we get all the mining upgrades. But anyway, the point is we got it done. We got it working and we have now got, do I want this to be here? Huh. This is kind of interesting. Cause this could, could potentially have a train sitting here waiting to go there. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it because yes, technically it is a problem, but on the other hand, we have a waiting area and we've got eight of these. And this is going to have a maximum of eight stations, I think. We're going to make that a thing, maximum of eight stations. And since the logistics network will not send two trains to the same station, we should not have to worry about that. In fact, technically, I don't know why we need a waiting area at all. Like, or maybe it will. I think it, when it sends two trains to the same station is when it's providing twice as much. Like if this was providing 32,000, then it would say, okay, I can send two trains to that station. Boom. So that's when it does it, that when you have 32,000 available. Um, but I don't know if we're going to do that because the problem is if we take 32,000 available, we run into that problem where it's filled up half, the first half with 16 and the second half with zero. Not quite that drastic, but along the same lines. So yeah, we're going to leave it at 16K for the moment. Might set up some more stations, but it's all good. So anyway, that is going to be copper. Well, that is copper actually. So the question now becomes, I've been setting up a couple of things as well. We've got steel uh, marker over there. We've got plastic marker over there. Because, of course, plastic requires coal and copper. No. Plastic doesn't require coal and copper. Plastic requires red circuits. No. Red circuits require copper. What am I talking about? Uh, so, the question is, do we want to really... I'm feeling like we've we've sort of breached a threshold here where we're sort of enhancing things out. So I feel like this is not gonna be plastic. I feel like you are not gonna be plastic because we're gonna treat copper, since we're treating copper as a separate station, our red circuits do not need to be like that. So this can be plastic here. Icon, we can make give it an icon, can't we? So that's gonna be plastic there. This can still be steel, but we are not going to make like red circuits and need it to have coal and copper next to it. That's nice, 
but I feel like we're not going to do that. We're going to build it straight up, just continuous trains everywhere sort of deal. And hopefully it won't be too much of an overhead. If it is, then we might start needing to do stuff, but... I don't like being tied down to this because if you think about it, where was it? Like this setup is coal and I think there's too much copper for plastic can, based on the amount of coal. So you, you kind of get yourself into those situations where like, all right, I need to build more red circuits, but my red circuit setup doesn't have enough coal, for example. Okay, so I got to go and I got to set up another red circuit set up somewhere else and I got to find somewhere where there's coal and copper. So I got to go over here or somewhere. Um, whereas if you did everything beautifully, you could just say, okay, here's a big empty area. This is going to be red circuits. I can expand this infinitely. I could have 10 stations coming in here. And if it runs out of copper, then I don't need to worry about it because more trains will come. So that's the kind of thing we would be talking about. Now, I don't know how deep we're going to go for that, whether we're going to have a, like iron gears. Are we going to have iron gears have their own station next to it? Iron ore, are iron gears going to take in iron ore and then spit out iron gears? Are we going to do iron gears locally where they're needed? Um, I feel like the last option is not a good option because this is a two to one. So you take in two iron plate and you produce one iron gear. So that is not uh going to be made locally because that's twice as much iron that needs to be flowing into that station although it doesn't really matter because the iron will be going to iron gears so really it's it's we might do a station that makes iron gears off an iron ore bit i reckon that's that could be a thing that we do but anyway this episode i feel like we're still going for base 1.5 and that means we are going for the speed module. So we need to be making this guy. And we need to be making this guy at base 1.5. So that's going to be blue circuits, red circuits, and green circuits. And that's all we need. All we That's the only three components that we need to be getting to base 1.5 to start with. Um, so we can skip steel for now. This is plastic, copper, and electronic circuits. So yeah, we've got most of what we need. So what we're going to need is sulfuric acid and then plastic. Sulfuric acid and plastic. And they're two coal-based bases, obviously, because we're going to do coal liquefaction. And then we just need a uh, big electronic circuit base, big green circuit, big red circuit, and a big blue circuit base. So that's five stations that we need to make. And then we can start making the modules at base 1.5 so let's go ahead and let's start looking to see if we can find some suitable places for these bases now i don't like the idea of building off this one line because that got me in trouble quite a bit so this looks like a really nice place this looks like a really nice place um it's big it's open it's ex it's got a lot of stuff in there i feel like this would be a pretty good place for green circuits. Yeah, uh, kind of. So this is base 1.5. We've got that section here. So that's base 1.5 there. Uh, so that's going to be, I just put a, what, what's a good icon for a base? I don't know what a good icon is. Let's put the power switch. There we go. Base 1.5. Excellent. So that's base 1.5. We're going to make this pretty much this whole area, base 1.5. So now we need a pretty decent space for green circuits. I kind of like this area right here. We'll still leave room up here to do stuff because this is a pretty decent amount of copper. There's a pretty decent amount of stuff. We can actually tang off that copper. So we build this. We can start grabbing that and smelting that. And then what we can do is we can also grab this and smelt it. And we can pull iron off other sources only when this iron runs out. There's a thing we can do. So that's going to be interesting, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's a thing we can do. Uh, actually, that reminds me. I wanted to test something because... Ah, 
depot. Go to the depot. Yeah, the depot is the only place that's requesting stuff at the moment. So, thing is, right now, this guy is getting the amount of uranium within the um, within the system, and it's getting it from these chests. But what if? And here's the thing that I would like to do: is what if? we can determine the amount of uranium ore from the logistics network and then use that as the trigger. So we can just say, all right, all of the uranium in the logistics network. How much is in the logistics network anyway? 204. So it doesn't include requesters, which is good. So we want 204 to be in storage, which is all these four, which is, ironically is the same amount that's being shed over to this line anyway. But what okay so now what we want to do is uh need a fleet combinator we do this and then you circuit network not connected i know you're not connected i'm about to connect you that goes out like that okay so read logistic network contents excellent so you are going to be the amount of uranium fuel times one is half of it. Okay, so now what we do is we disconnect this. So you're outputting 204 because that's how much is in the system and you're outputting four there. So that's excellent. I really, really like the way that works. And then what that means is for our green circuit section, what we can do is we can do exactly the same thing on the train requesting setup, and it will automatically deduce, okay, I have got 500 iron plate sitting in passive provider chests um, inside smelting setups. So it will be able to detect that, and it'll say, okay, I am good, I have got enough, I have got enough. We'll have to make sure that we increase the amount of uh, the, the amount that this chest can store so that they can actually build up enough to fulfill the requirements of the station. But I don't feel like that will be a pain in the ass. I mean, we'll just say, all right, so we need 16,000, get enough smelters in there, do enough stuff. And we might really pump out the chest like no um, absolutely no limits on those chests. So if we get a backlog, so we'll allow the smelting to keep going on and backing up forever. And then only if we really start running into problems, will we actually go out and we actually get iron and copper from external sources. Okay, so we get a thing, nice little straight there. <clears throat> So we're putting a straight, and then I'm going to put a T in section going up. And then, okay, so T in section going up. Now, can we build the depot directly off here? I'm going to say the answer is yes. Yes, I'm going to say the answer is yes. So we're going to build the main line, not depot, station. We're going to build the main line station directly off of this. And... It may seem like we're using up too much room or I'm setting aside too much room, but I really want a lot of space for this green circuit stuff to be going on. So we're going to need a bunch more stations. I'm not going to be mixing stations, I don't think. Uh, but yeah. Oh, why did I... I remember on my mega base, I had active providers for stuff. Oh, that's right. I had active providers because that allowed the train to be unloaded evenly. Yes. Because what can happen is if you have passive providers for the train to unload, it'll unload all of the stuff for the front few cabins and the last few cabins will be full. And then it'll detect, oh, we haven't got enough, even though the last few are full because the front few are empty. So it'll send another train, the train will come over, it won't be able to leave because it won't be able to unload the last few. So that's why I had active providers everywhere. Now the only station we've got so far is this guy. And this guy is 
a total of 200, which can easily fit in every single chest. And I don't have these constrained at all. So that's not gonna be an issue here, but it might be an issue over here. So we're gonna to have to go back to the active provider uh, way of doing things, I think. Uh, yes, and we've got so many stations and we're gonna pack them together. So using Mr. Mr. Whatchamacallit, Mr. Warehouses is not gonna be an option. Definitely don't think it's gonna be an option. So let's start off with the simple things, the simple things in life. So we go here. Let's really push this out. Let's see how many stations we can get in here because I feel like we're going to need a fair few. Okay, so that's about as far as we can push that one out. And we can do one more back here. One more. Whoa, there is some stuff going on here. Oh, I'm out of these as well. Give me some more signals, please. What is your problem? You're gonna have, don't gonna have normals. You're not gonna have normals there. Don't need that. Don't need that one. Okay, these are flashing funny. I don't know why these are flashing funny. I think everything is okay. Might have to investigate. There may be something wrong with the rail system that I'm just not doing correctly. Oh, I did leave this offline. Sorry, online. Or just left it running while I was at my parents. Because I was at my parents for like five, six hours today. Just hanging out, doing stuff. But yeah, I was using up a lot of... I emptied this out and I emptied a other couple of chests out. So I wanted to leave this game running so that it could fill all of that things up. And it apparently has done. Okay, so we need to figure this out. So you are... Does that fix things? Apparently not. So you're good. You should be good. I'm not sure we even need these signals. I feel like they're nice. I'm not sure if we even need them. So, chain. Does that make a difference? I'm not sure it does. What are we missing here? Do I need a chain there? I don't feel like I do. Because this is chain, chain, good. So this one's fine. Do I really need this to be a thing? It's not fixing those. Ah, this is a interesting situation. Just when you think you're an expert at this crap. Oh, I'm missing one here. Chain, good, good, good. I don't know if this should be good, but. It should be good. It shouldn't need to have a station after it or anything like that. It shouldn't need to have one of these. I mean, you can put one up here. No, it's not fixing it. It's not fixing it. I don't know what your problem is, okay? I have no idea what your problem is. You are just blinky, blinky, flashy for the sake of it. All right, F4, debug menu. Uh, train rail blocks. Okay, you are one big rail block. Is that why you're complaining? You are split and you are split and you are split. I feel like it's something to do with this thing not being split properly. If I could put a signal on this side right here, then maybe I could fix it. 
That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Fixes that up, but nothing's going in this direction. It doesn't need to go in this direction. This is this is the width I want, right? Yeah, this is beautiful. This is a perfect width. It just the rail system doesn't like being done like this. It doesn't it thinks everything is too close together and overlapping each other. Which is understandable because it is a bit crazy, but okay. It's not what we want, not what we want, not what we want. Yes, it's all white. It's all just white. We need to split these up into separate blocks. I'm not sure if that really helps. And now I can't even put something here anymore. Oh, we may have made a serious mistake here. Okay. I'm going to destroy all of these, except not the power pole. We're going to figure this out. So, go. Don't know that I really need those chains in there, but whatever, we'll put them in. So, you. You can't go because there's a signal there. Put the signal there. Can you go now? Yes, you can. And now you have a problem. Why do you have a problem? Maybe I just get rid of you. Maybe that solves the problem. Now, now these guys are having a sissy fit. Maybe I'll get rid of you as well. Let's get rid of the signals that are causing you problems. That's the way to do it. Now, see, the thing I don't like about this situation is we have made this entire thing one block, and I do not like that entire thing being one block. Because it's now screwed up these things as well. So now I have to get rid of all these things. And this is this is not going to be good. Because it means if there's a train going up here, a train can't leave here. I really don't like that. Especially with 12 stations. I mean 12 stations. Okay. Alright. How do we fix this? Oh, look at that. Sorry, if you're an epileptic, please stop watching this video because I didn't realize the signals changed like that. Oh boy. Okay. Let's do a straight down. Let's do chain signal there. Do a chain signal there. So if we do like that, now you're complaining. Now you're not complaining. Have we discovered the secret of how to play this game? Okay, so you're a chain. Now, if we make you a thing, I feel like we're getting somewhere here. I feel like we are. It was just the way it was curving was not allowing us to go forward properly. But this seems to be a bit better. Uh, so we may have to fix this up in other stations as well. Q. 
you rotate. So apparently if it's got two different locations it can be in, you can actually rotate it to change the one that it goes on, which is very helpful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And only time will tell if this actually works. We got a decent amount of space here, so I feel like these guys can just go like that. Destroy, destroy. Chain here and destroy all of these guys. Oh, another one. Another one bites the dust. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, you know what that song is. Okay, so let's hook the rest of these guys up. And let's see how, how this goes. We got some flashing lights because I haven't put the signals down yet. Do we really want these? To be here. Does that need to be how it is? Should this be a chain? Because that's got a block shit, isn't it? Alright, so we don't want that to be a thing, we want that to be a chain. I always get confused. So this one means that it'll go past it. So it'll always go to that and past that. So the problem is if we put a thing here, the train can go there, get stuck, and then its arse end is hanging over there. So we don't want that. We want it to go only when one of these two is clear. You got enough? You just mostly got enough. That's not gonna block up anything, that'll be fine. That chain will take care of that. So there we go. Beautiful. Do we really need this? Apparently not, but that's fine. Okay, so turn off that, F4. There we go, it looks a little bit more ugly, but it works, damn it, it works. And that is 12 stations. And look at all the freaking power poles. We probably over power poled this a little bit. So let's go ahead and let's take you off and you off, because they're so close together, we only need power poles on one side because they actually take care of the other side. Taking care of your neighbor is what this game is all about. Okay. So we got 12 here, so that's going to be four output um, and then eight input for, of course we're only out of steel. Eight input for what should we call it? What do you need the steel for anyway? Just the original train stops. So if we get original train stops for you, you get a whole bunch of those. Only ten? I feel like we need a few more than that. If we get ten, we should be able to build more of those. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, all good. So we're gonna have four for iron, four for copper. Oh, technically iron and copper are in different locations, different ratios, but then again, we've got a lot more copper here than we do iron to suck off. So yeah, we probably will need an equal amount of iron and copper coming in because we'll just have so much more natural copper being done in here. So yeah, I'd say four for each and then four for that stuff going out. So let's let's just not set up these things yet. Let's just set up this straight up going to be um, pumping in iron sort of deal. Pumping in raw resources from other stations and then making the circuits right here. So first four are gonna be iron. So uh, three circuits. 
input iron A. So that should technically be a dash input iron A. So you are input iron A. Ha. Huh. This is going to get interesting, actually, because the thing is, the system I talked about before, where you use the logistic system to figure out how much is there and then request a train if there's not enough, that doesn't work when you've got multiple stations waiting for the same thing. Because what happens is you run out, you go too low, and then you request four trains straight away. Which is not... Is that what we want to do? Maybe that is what we want to do. Oof. Every single time previously, I've just had one. Every time I've had an input, I've just had one. One input. I've never actually had a logistic system where a station is requesting more than one train of something. Maybe it's okay to have multiples then. Maybe we'll have a, some sort of cascading system or something. I do not know. But anyway, we do need... Where we got? We got three here. So we're going to need a buttload of these warehouses. So let's make them right here. Because we're going to have active providers all over the place here. Uh, so you are one, two, and then... Three, and then... So we go and we do iron plate. I don't know how we're going to make it work, to be honest, with multiple um, multiple stations inputting, because we've never done that before. Whoops, we've got to set the filter first. So what we're going to do is we're just going to set one station of each type up for now. And then we're going to worry about how we actually work multiple stations inputting ore in the future because I reckon it's going to be a good idea I reckon it definitely will be I mean what it'll do by default is it'll send two trains to the same station how we do that with other trains I'm not sure it'll say like oh we're missing x or who knows okay so what we do here is we are going to do the logistics setup so let's get one of you guys so we go up the head. We should actually move this over so that it's like there. Yep. And then this guy goes down like that. Now, we got our thing. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to do this like that. So we need a second one here. So you are going to be circuit network. You're going to hook into both of these. And we're going to have one being copper and the other one being iron. So you then go over to... Ha. No, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Because this pole up here needs to be, does it need to be? I don't know if it needs to be. Uh, depends. Depends what pole we're actually using for this sort of shit. What pole are we using? Do we need a different pole? Yeah, so we have a different pole right next to it. So it's okay to use this pole. We'll try not to confuse things too much, but we're going to use this pole. And this is not the pole that gets hooked up to the green line. That's a different pole. That's this pole. That is our hooking up to things pole. Not sure if it really matters. But anyway, this is spitting out the amount of copper 
in the system. Maybe it is fine to use that poll. Oh, I'm so lost here. Let's just let's just get the other poll in anyway. Do we really need this poll? I'm not sure that we really do. Maybe that poll is just stupid. Maybe we should get rid of that poll. And then we do this poll up like that. Yeah, so of course this may all change in the future if we decide to do things differently, but for now. Ah, see, this is the problem. We don't want to, uh, or do we? Do we want all the stations to be doing the same thing? Let's just pretend that we do. Okay, so you are going to be the amount of iron in the system times by one and output to the amount of iron in the system. So you go off to here, this will be the amount of copper in the system multiplied by one and then output to here. And then you go off to these four. Now, we're just going to set up one to start with, and you are going to be requesting stuff. You are requesting 16,000 because that's as much as we can set up on the train. And your iron is going to be negative 32,000 because it has to be that much. So let's, let's, if we just have one thing working, that's going to be fine. So you're hooked up here. Now the problem is this is going to be, well, is it going to use the same thing for every one of them, which is probably fine actually. So if we hook that up, this pole up to this guy, So there we go. It's going to send one train out to this guy, which is going to be doing stuff. Uh, turn around, you. No, you turn around. You turn around, please. Ah, uh, where's my chest gone? So we've got a train coming over here. We'd, I'm definitely not thinking it all that far ahead with regard to multiple stations, but I have said that we'll sort them out at some other time. Go on. Oh, it doesn't actually fit. Why do I have iron chests there? I really should have steel chests. Uh, steel chests. There we go, 500. And put the proper ones over there, dump these back in there. Okay. Move that. Geez, that filled up that iron station pretty fast. So there we go. It's dumping all of the iron into there. And there'll be another one. So this thing is now recording that there is a decent amount of iron in the system. Negative 19K because there's a lot in midair, presumably. It must be calculating that there's some in here as well. 11K, 12K, 13K, 14K. That'll get up to 16K soon. Excellent. And as far as those robots go, yeah. We're just going to make a big old grid up here, I think. And like so. And there's the next train coming out, getting its stuff going and outputting, which is sweet. So let's do the same thing over here for copper. Let's get copper going. So shift and then click. So we need negative 32,000 copper. 
and you are currently just spitting out the copper amount. Yep, 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 yep. So now we send this up to here, and then we send that over to the signal. I haven't named these stations yet. Oh, I have named this one. Right, so you are going to be no more Andrew Zick inputs copper. Technically, it should be copper plate, but I don't think that's going to cause us any problems, that distinction. So we'll worry about these later, I guess. What do I think will happen is we'll, um, we'll say, oh, it'll trigger all these stations at the same time. And if we're 16K low, we'll actually get four trains sent out, which will give us 64K. So what we might do is we might have to tweak some stuff. I don't know how we tweak that stuff, but we'll end up with too much iron, um, which means we'll end up, if we've got negative 32K, then we'll end up with like 64K most of the time or something. So we may need to tweak this a little bit, but I don't want to tweak it too much because 16K is there. And I don't want, I don't know what I don't want. I don't want these to be negative 16K because that'll mean we'll only request when it's completely empty. So I feel like I'll leave those the same and then we'll just deal with being vastly way too much stuff when it actually comes around. You need to go down a bit. We'll give you there. And then we'll put four, five, six. There we go, another station coming up. Oh, whoa, whoops. Need to get you some things. Some things. Yep. Now you need to be copper. You need to be copper. Excellent. That would have sucked if that guy was uh, stuck there forever. So I wouldn't have been able to sort that out. Thankfully, I am a very quick thinker, and Jesus Christ, it's 42 minutes. Okay, so we have spent long enough of a time. I feel like actually getting this to do green circuits is something that we will do uh, in another episode. Because it's just, it's just an assembler thing. We could keep going, but we'll end up at the 50 minute mark actually getting green circuits on a train. And... I'm not sure that I want to spend that much time anyway, so let's go ahead and let's not do that. And the next episode we can get the actual assemblers making green circuits and we can start to get this guy actually doing stuff. It seems like it's really far away actually, but I'm happy because we can build a ton of machines here, a ton of machines making green circuits with fast bits and this can be like the station for green circuits for like maybe the entire mega base. I reckon the entire mega base, I reckon this guy will be able to crack it for 1,000 signs per second for, per minute, maybe 2,000 signs per minute, maybe even 3,000 before we start running into problems. Because we've we got the train throughput on this station and we've got the block, we got the blocks sorted out. So we're not going to have serious problems. Rail paths, so I wanted rail blocks. Whoa, rail segments, that's a bit crazy. So we're going to have these guys able to individually go out while the train is coming in here, sort of deal, which is nice. Uh, show FPS. All right, let's get out of there. So anyway, we're going to head off now. And if I'm doing my times exactly, which I try to, I need to be getting chips in the oven in about a minute. And my oven's already on, so that's nice, but I still need to be getting those chips in. So I will see you guys later.